Hello and welcome to another Scrap Mechanic video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about my autonomous 6x6 truck. Um, <clears throat> an autonomous vehicle is something that can drive around on its own. Whether it's just avoiding things or if it's actually carrying out a goal or something. But, uh, either way, this is just made to drive around on its own at random. Um, I don't know where it is. Oops. Um. Over there, can't really see it, but I've got a little robot thing, and then I've got this ball. Bring it up really quick. Uh, do, do, do. The um, <clears throat> so this thing is what I started out with, and it's just simple: two motors, a caster wheel, and then three sensors and one in the middle. With this, the motors are always on, and then if say these sensors um, detect something, this motor turns off, so it turns. But it doesn't really, it doesn't work all that great. It gets stuck a lot. And then, this was another test. These sensors go back and forth and it's got a, uh, a gyro in the back and whatnot. But this thing. This literally just bounces around and stuff and goes wherever. And then I wanted to make something that a vehicle. So as I said, I started with the little black thing, and then moved on to the uh, the Jeep. Now we've got this. And this works really well. Best out of everything I've made so far. And it's the uh, the one 6x6 military truck I put on the um, workshop. And then I took out all of the seats. And then took out the engines and put in motors and then in the back there's no seats but here's the gyro, this part spins and these detect it when it goes back and forth uh, I can show that so as that goes to the side those are supposed to detect it I'll bump these back up to four. But anyways, that tells, lets it know um, how much of an angle it's tilting on left to right. So uh, roll, how much it's rolling. And then right there, I can't get past this, but right there is the main control unit. Pretty much everything except for the motor, so all the steering and whatnot, goes through this. Now that I got off the workshop. Do, do, do. Uh, made by ABDE, and it's the robot AI controller core. It has three inputs and eight outputs. And that is what I use for this. So how that works is this, uh, doo -doo -doo, this switch here turns on the gyro and the motors. The core is always on, so if I walk up to the front, it'll turn away. Just like that. And the same with this side. But since, with the way I have it set up, with the motors being off, if I walk up to the three middle ones, it'll move forwards. Just like that. But when the motor is on, those will turn it off. And then these ones detect for like a, a ledger or something to hopefully stop it from just driving off the edge of a cliff. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, all the wiring. So here's these two going to a gate. Can't remember which one that is. And then to the motor control. This gate just inverts them. Same with these ones. It's five, not three. So these five go to a gate and then to the engine or motor control. What's that do? Well, oh, that's the hood. Anyways, um, the steering. So these ones on screen right now. They all go to the left input, which then does some stuff in here. If this is activated, this is activated, which goes down to the, the gate for the steering controller for going left, and that activates and makes it, no, makes it go right, sorry. I'm going to get a lot of this backwards. And then same with on uh, to, to this side. So those go to that, goes to there, there, makes a turn. But when the gyro activates, you want it to disable these, basically, so that it doesn't fight against them, or else it'll basically just go straight instead of turning into the lean, stopping it from rolling. So, the part that's nice about that is, here, I'll block off this sensor, so it's turning right. So imagine it's going up a hill, and it's leaning, it's rolling to the right. If it's rolling to the right, this one will be activating. So you can see that one telling it to turn left, but if I go up like this, it switches to that one, which is set up to tell it to go right. So if we go to the front, it's not working. Okay then. Really? Where did I screw up on this one? Okay, so that's that one. This side goes to that side. Goes, yeah, it goes to there. I don't know. It's something just being glitchy. Um, anyways. It'll cancel out... No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's already turning right, so... Um, what I meant is, if I cover this one, it should turn left. Wow. Okay. This isn't working. Um, ah, that would be why. This is all sorts of screwed up right now. Okay, what did I mess up? I messed up a gate somewhere. Nope, this is just still covered. Okay. So there we go. Um, now I forget what I was talking about. Okay, do, do, do. Shit. Okay, so sometimes when it's going up a hill, or along a hill, it would have. Stop messing up it would be detecting the ground on this side, making it turn to the hill, and if it turns to the hill, it will want to go up the hill, and it'll angle it more, roll it more, and it'll just flip. So having the gyro turn off the sensors will make it, will force it to turn left. Which I can now 
show now that I'm, I've figured out my mind. So if it is tilting left, this one will be activated. No. See, I'm getting everything backwards. There we go. Now it is turning left, being forced to. Even if that's not blocked. Because... Output changes based on this. So, um... I am now going to get this to stop glitching. I'm going to do like a transition or something and record this thing just driving around. I'm going to follow it and I'm going to uh, put it in fast forward so it doesn't take as long. But uh, yeah, now I'm just going to show this thing driving around.